Gas law stoichiometry. Gas law stoichiometry. Avogadro's values allow us to use the conversion factor of 22.4 liters per mole when reactions take place at standard temperature and pressure, also known as STP. STP values are 273 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere. However, when the reaction takes place at pressure, volume, and temperature values that are not at STP, we must return to stoichiom stoichiometry calculations and the ideal gas law in order to determine volume, mole, and gram values. For the problem, when 10 grams of propane C3H8 combusts at STP, what volume of oxygen is consumed, the first thing we need to begin with is a balanced chemical equation. The balanced chemical equation is C3H8 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. And then balancing it out with the correct coefficients, we get one molecule of propane, five molecules of oxygen, O2, since it is diatomic, three molecules of carbon dioxide, CO2, and four molecules of water. Next, we write out a basic stoichiometry roadmap, taking us from grams to moles to moles to liters, and then calculate the stoichiometry. 10 grams of propane times one mole of propane over its gram formula mass, 44 grams of propane. Then use the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation that there are five moles of oxygen for every one mole of propane. And then use the conversion factor of Avogadro's value of 22.4 liters of oxygen for every one mole. And then using our calculators, we calculate the value to be 25.4 liters of oxygen. However, in the case of 28 grams of aluminum corroding in hydrochloric acid to release hydrogen gas, if this reaction takes place at 25 degrees Celsius and 800 Tor, what volume of hydrogen will be produced? We see that this is at 25 degrees Celsius and 800 Tor, not STP. We still begin with a balanced chemical equation. And in this case, two molecules of aluminum corrode in six molecules of hydrochloric acid to form two molecules of aluminum chloride and three molecules of hydrogen gas, H2, since it is diatomic. In this case, we need to begin by taking the gram value and changing it to moles. So using a stoichiometry roadmap of grams to moles to moles, we can then calculate using stoichiometry 28 grams of aluminum times one mole of aluminum over its AMU, atomic mass unit, from the periodic table of 27. Then use the mole ratio of three moles of hydrogen for every two moles of aluminum, and we get a mole value of 1.56 moles of hydrogen. We can then use that 1.56 moles of hydrogen in the ideal gas law to convert into volume. The original ideal gas law is PV equals nRT. Rearranging the equation to solve for V, we get V equals nRT over P. N is the mole value which we just calculated, 1.56. R is the gas law constant, 0 0.0821 atmospheres liters per mole Kelvin. We take the 25 degrees Celsius and convert it to 298 Kelvin. And we take the 800 Tor divide it by 760 and find that we have 1.5 atmospheres. Using these calculations, we get a volume value of hydrogen of 40 liters of hydrogen gas. For the problem, how many grams of zinc must be dissolved in sulfuric acid in order to obtain 600 milliliters of hydrogen gas at 20 degrees Celsius and 770 Tor? we again begin by writing a, out a balanced chemical equation. In this case, zinc combines with sulfuric acid, H2SO4, to, to create zinc 
sulfate, and hydrogen gas. In this case, the mole values for the coefficients are all equal to 1. For this problem, since we are already given the volume and we are looking for the grams, we must first take the volume along with the temperature and pressure values and place them in the ideal gas law to find out how many moles of the gas we are working with. In this case, PV equals nRT solves out to N equals PV over RT in order to solve for moles. The 770 torr divided by 760 gives us an atm atmosphere value of 1.01 .01 for our pressure. The 600 milliliters divided by 1,000 gives us a liter value of 0 0.6 liters. The gas law constant remains 0 0.0821 atmospheres liters per mole Kelvin, and the 20 degrees Celsius add 273 to get our 293 Kelvin. The following calculations give us 0 0.02 moles of hydrogen. We now create our stoichiometry roadmap for calculations, and in this case, we're going from moles to moles to grams. In going from moles to moles to grams, we use the stoichiometry calculations, 0 0.02 moles of hydrogen times one mole of zinc over one mole of hydrogen, since the mole ratio in the balanced chemical equation is one to one. The mass of zinc, AMU, or gram form of the mass, is 65.39 grams per mole. And when we do this calculation, we get an answer of one gram of zinc.